Hello, I'm David Frazier with Investors Monitor, and this is our daily morning market prep show where we strive to tell you everything that you need to know, but nothing more regarding factors and developments that are likely to impact the value of your financial market portfolios. Well, today on Tuesday, September 8th, as of around 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, uh, futures contracts on the Dow Jones Industrial Average were up approximately 275 points. So therefore, um, it's uh, pretty clear that we're going to have a positive open in, U in the U.S. stock market today. But uh, I urge you to pay little attention to a uh, one-day rally, which once again is, is very likely to occur today. I, I urge you to pay no attention to that, to ignore it. And the reason that I say that is nothing has changed over the past few days, meaning that a large and increasing number of economic statistics from around the globe, including here in the United States, suggest that the pace of economic growth in the U.S., as well as in Europe, Japan, and China, is likely to slow over the next few months. Secondly, corporate earnings reports uh, that I reviewed over the past few months, I reviewed over a thousand corporate earnings announcements, uh, suggest uh, that uh, corporate profits during the third quarter of this year, that is during the, the quarter ending September 30th, uh, will likely increase at a slower pace. And, and, and that's very, very significant if it turns out to be the case because stock prices are ultimately de determined by the level and direction of corporate profits. And as a reminder, something that, that I talked about a couple of weeks ago, uh, corporate profits in the aggregate for U.S. companies peaked during the third quarter of last year, uh, moved uh, just a little bit lower during the fourth quarter of 2014. We're down approximately 1.2% in the aggregate, uh, but we're down uh, over 7% during the first quarter of this year. Now, they did rise uh, during this uh, quarter ending June 30th, uh, but very, very modestly, um, I think up over a little over a percent to my recollection. I know they were not over up more than 2% in the aggregate. So, if in fact we do see a slowdown in the pace of economic growth here in the United States and, and numerous other countries around the globe, and we do in fact see a, uh, um, a slower or, or pace of increase or less increases, I guess you could say, in corporate profits, it's pretty clear to me that stock prices in general are likely going to continue to trend lower over the uh, next few months. So I really don't care about if there's a uh, big one-day rally uh, in the U.S. stock market. And uh, you shouldn't care either unless you're a day trader and a big batter because trying to get you know the direction of stocks right uh, over the course of time over the course of several months or several years is, is is difficult in and of itself but to try to get the direction of stocks correct in just one day you might as well go to Vegas and uh, play craps uh, well not craps a better game I guess if you're, if you're going to be that much of a batter just play roulette if you know anything about those two games so um there's really uh, nothing significant to talk about today. Uh, remember, uh, this show is about uh, striving to tell you everything that you need to know, but nothing more. So instead of rambling on and on about some useless information or some uh, distraction, such as what traders might be thinking about China, but we don't do that here at Investors Monitor. Instead, instead we, fo we focus on the facts. And the facts uh, are, are very clear to, to us that we're uh, likely to see stock prices in general trend lower. And over the next few weeks, uh, we think that stocks will, will move in a volatile sideways pattern. So we're really not even surprised by, by today's uh, movement up. Uh, I, I mean, uh, uh, there are statistics that we follow that uh, indicate that we're going to see some volatile sideways movement over the next few weeks, um, but uh, that stocks will likely trend lower over the next few months. So I'm going to leave it at that, uh, and uh, 
I ask you uh, if you really want to know what's going on in the markets to uh, tune in to our show every morning. Uh, we uh, uh, um, uh, this show is uh, aired at nine o'clock a.m. Eastern Time every business day of the week, or at least every day the financial markets are open. And uh, I also encourage you to go to our internet website if you're not watching the show uh, at this moment on our site. That site being www.investorsmonitor.com. By doing so, you can sign up for free uh, to our uh, weekly market commentary. All you need to do is put in your name and email address. You don't need to give us a credit card uh, uh, number or any credit card information. And uh, explore our website. I mean, we have a, a, a many, many uh, indicators uh, regarding uh, uh, the economy uh, here in the U.S. as well as in other parts of the world, and indicators regarding uh, where stocks are likely at it. Uh, so let's wrap it up and leave it at that, and uh, and uh, we'll be uh, uh, seeing you again. Those for you to, to uh, the tune in tomorrow, Wednesday, September 9th. Thank you for listening.